Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day and today we're taking a look at another Dare Me back at it again with the full movement speed Susano O. Now Susano O is the newest god in Smite's Japanese. A uh, lot of fun so we're going to try out basically what it looks like to build full movement speed items on him and yes that means Teleria boots. Hot dang it it means Teleria boots even though those boots stink for any assassin or any type of player i i, I kind of like them on guardians the the version um i don't know what it's called exactly but the full movement speed on guardian boots are okay sometimes on mages uh, sometimes support mages like i could see it but on assassins you just it's not the best but anyways we're doing it for the dare do it for the dare hopefully we can go out there 10 power my god man instead of uh instead of 40 power to start that's that's rough that is really rough especially since susana o's abilities are so strong and they scale so freaking well now if i was gonna say uh, my first thoughts about susana o, -O they would be summed up that he is so -O 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 -O, strong -O 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 -O. he is more -O -O strong -O 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 than he needs to be -O 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 -O. <laughs> because his number one uh absolutely annihilates anyone and it's like worse than Vamana's Armored Umbrella. So I think Smite may nerf this quite a bit. Uh, not not um, to where it's unusable, but that it's not as devastating because his idea is not to, not to basically one-hit you, right? It's not to go in and literally kill you with this kit, but he can at this point. He actually can. When you build Transcendence on him, when you build uh, all this type of stuff on him, and look, nice little start here as we get a little poke going on. Uh, it's, it's really going to be very very difficult for him to uh progress uh into any type of balance without i think their idea of him becoming this ultra mobile god which is great that's what he is he's insanely mobile he can catch up to you from anywhere and he can get away from you from pretty much any situ situation um but the key is they gave, they gave him that mobility so that he can't literally one one shot you when he gets near but he can't right now it's it's too ridiculous and it's too easy to do uh his number one is basically just a cone in front of him and then a circle around him and it's like anything around him gets blown up i swear this this ability is hitting me for like 650 damage as a mage like this one ability and it's like in half a second i cannot even move i couldn't even try to do any movement ability before he can get that off so it's super strong um i would expect a little bit of a nerf but today we're gonna be checking out what he looks like in his strength even though i'm building a kind of a weak build for him because i think ability power is where his strength lies you want to get jotans you want to get transcendence and nice uh ultimate there coming out from me i hit her with the number two and and that takes her down robo penguin going down to susana -o -o. although a combo of susana -o -o ult oh my god too much to say comes back into play and uh fortunately knocks me up but doesn't take me out of the ball game so i'm still playing so that's a good good thing and now susana -o looking like he's in trouble and i go ahead and take him out with my number one that insta damage basically just annihilating him even with telaria boots i mean he had a decent little bit of health there that wasn't like i have no health that's this ability is strong and i didn't even use my second part of the ability now I, I we were joking like they should give the third ability some damage too like the dash you should be able to damage people and dash through like them this is a dash we we're like nah that's that's actually that would actually be ridiculous if you guys don't know about Susano O's abilities what he does this is your first exposure to him i'd love to introduce you to his abilities and just basically what he does i'll do that right now basically his passive is called swift as the summer storm uh as you can tell he's a very swift guy so he's very fast and when his abilities are on cooldown he gains a bonus movement speed stack of 4%. Now, nice blink there using that number three. Perfect pull also to re-engage the enemy team. Jingwei goes up into her ultimate, and look at that damage coming out. I want Susano to get taken out, but he dashes away. He is so mobile, man. Wow, but the damage was enough to poke him out of that fight. He didn't even get hit with that ultimate. I'm not even sure. He might have, actually, but it was all my Storm Kata, and that number one Storm Kata is so damaging. I tried to get him with a pull, which is his number two. That's Wind Siphon. You'll learn more about that, but look at that Storm Kata just a eliminating his health bar right now and uh i'm giving myself an ability to go ahead and blink one of the things you can do much like scylla uh with her brute is you could throw uh his number three which is called jet stream in a direction where you want to basically teleport because you can teleport to that and we'll get to that ability in just a moment but uh you can also face a different direction and run a different direction while it's still ticking so you have some time to teleport so you could throw people off throw it to the left run to the right a little bit they start chasing you to the right and then all of a sudden bam you're there now great example oh my god did you even have life i don't even know that was my number one that was the first part of my number one ladies and gentlemen that is nothing i throw my jet stream onto susana oh and get a double kill there and that's a 5-0 oh, and two start in less than four minutes what the heck is going on full movement speed Susana, uh oh, Teleria boots and Golden Bow. New start, new start, 
Yo, Smite, new start? I'm just kidding, guys. This totally not the new start, ladies and gentlemen. I definitely would not recommend starting this way because if you get Warrior Tabi, if you get Transcendence, you will be hitting even harder than this early game. And Susano, early to mid game god, he's going to shine. And even late game right now, he's still doing really well because his early game is so strong, he can get ahead very easily uh, in both Conquest, Arena, Clash, any mode. Any mode. I, I'm not biased, guys. I play Conquest as well. I, I've seen it every single mode. He can get ahead very, very easily. Um, so anyways, his number, his number one, like I said, Storm Kata, that's the thing I think needs to be nerfed. 210 damage per hit, right? It swings twice, okay? The first is a cone that hits for 210. Second is a circle around him, hits for 210. Uh, nice ultimate there, but a great pull air, actually by the Susana, oh, actually by Sylvanas, and I actually go ahead with my, uh, Jet, what's it called? Typhoon. I go ahead with my Typhoon and take out the Jing Wei there. And she just was not suspecting that. The teleport into an immediate ult, which basically pulls you towards the center if you landed in the middle of them. Kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, I would say, uh, Poseidon's Cripple in a, in, a, in a weird fashion. It's kind of like that. Now, they're not crippled out of it. They could jump out of it, I believe. Um, but it does pull them towards the center. Um And uh, then teleports in any direction that you are facing. So it's really cool. Not teleport, but it... It, it goes forward in any direction you're facing. So it's looking like I'm trying to decide here between Haste and Fatalis, which I do want, and then whether I want to go Stone Cutters, because there are a lot of movement speed items now, guys. But instead of the traditional movement speed, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to go with uh, checking out some items that augment your movement speed when you do good things and using those buffs to my advantage. So taking care, taking advantage of the percentage movement speed rather than the actual stats of increased movement speed from uh, an item. So increasing my movement speed by 20% from uh, Blood Forge after I get a kill, and also by 20% from Wind Demon as I get a kill. So an extra 40% movement speed with that scenario. So that will be pretty cool. And look at the pull. Great initiation by my teammate. Spiker takes down Robo Penguin. A nice ultimate by Jing Chan, throwing two of us. And I put the jet stream onto Jing Wei, forcing her to go up, up, up into the air and away. Landing down now, trying to go ahead and focus onto Slow Waffle, who's a circuit with that masterful agility. But it looks like, oh man, she's trying to go back. But I pull her and say, no, 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 not today. You're not taking down my slow waffle that's my slow waffle okay <laughs> uh it's a funny name right i love it and we we play with slow quite often he's a good guy and i imagine the susano might just teleport and he does and jubilanke big nasty is dead and there goes Scylla. she looks like she's trying to go ahead and get a launch and i go ahead and dash away i'm 6 0 and 3 and i'm making myself a very hard target to hit of course with my mobility just being absolutely devastating if i'm caught if they if they are caught off guard and i show up um so again, his number one hits extremely strong, but it's got 90% scaling on it, guys, which is really high. That's very high. That's 180% of your physical power that's going to be added onto uh, your one and two. So you're going to hit for 420 damage plus 180% of your physical power. So if that's 200, I mean, just imagine, what if you have 200 physical power times that, you know, 180% of that, right? That's at least, uh, I don't know, three. that's almost 300 uh, 350. I mean, it's it's insane. It's it's a ridiculous number that you're doing for just an easy, insanely easy to hit, easier than almost armored umbrella to hit from Vimana. And uh, the the thing I was mentioning is they they reduce the scaling on that because of the fact is I try and blink there to go ahead and uh, you know I'm feeling myself. I tried to blink her and catch her into the ult, but it did not work. And now go ahead and onto the Scylla. As you can see, it's kind of starting to get mid game. We're level 14s. It's not hurting as much onto the Scylla that number one, especially since I'm not building transcendence or anything. Great pull there. Oh, onto the enemy Susana. Oh, I want to take him down and I do take him down. Malfal Mafalk goes down and he doesn't have a Falk to play. I don't even know what I was going to say on that. That's just nothing to follow up on that. Mafalk, just a interesting name. Jing Wei's hitting kind of hard, though. I have to back on out, and I'm heading out of there. Spiker looking like he might be in trouble, but he has some movement speed, and he slowed down the Jing Chan with a threshold. And man, he's made it. So 7 and 6, guys, so far, so good. We got Stone Cutting Sword. And uh, moving on along here, uh, what I was saying with Vimana is they, they his armored umbrella is really easy to hit. Is number two, so they basically reduced it in, in physical scaling, mean and put it to the umbrella ring, which is harder to hit. So they're like, okay, we want to reward you for doing this harder to hit thing. And most people felt there was no counter to just being insta hit and killed by Vimana, and it's true. And but the same thing is happening here with Susana. Oh, it's pretty much an insta hit. There's really no counter to how fast it goes um, and how much damage it does. So, anyways. It's the new armor and umbrella, essentially, but twice as bad because it hits twice. So, uh, anyways, Wind Siphon, 
is a really cool ability it does the same amount of damage uh in its cone that's my number one onto the uh nox and like and if you haven't played susano again you can cancel out of that one of the things i'm still learning because this is pretty much my first game with susano o in actual uh the patch the smite patch uh as i'm kind of getting baited here he wants to take this damage buff all right you want this damage buff bro are you serious all right man i used my dash in a bad way though and now i've got my ultimate but he pops his ultimate as well and it actually goes off before mine and he got that knock up and that damage allowed him to get the last basic attack over to me but i do take him out with the jet stream so it's a one for one susano -o on susano -o crime but my teammates are not there i was actually in the middle of calm saying guys yo right side right side come on we would have really annihilated them but looks like big comes down and does take out the jingwei who had a part to play in that little thing in fact i think jingwei actually killed me to be honest um jingwei just starting to hurt a lot more i like her buff she actually became much more relevant um and i think we'll be seeing a lot more play she actually can compete late game now i mean hunter wise i've seen her really really hit so yeah jingwei hitting hitting me pretty hard that that was that was all i wrote there um shows what you get for trying to be a macho susan oh trying to just show people that you're the top susan oh that's all i'm trying to do just show people that i'm the top Susana, oh, this is my first game with him in the real Smite server. So, yeah, I'm the best, right? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, somebody also said first impressions is like, I, I haven't seen a first impressions video of somebody who hasn't played the god before. And I feel like that's kind of not really exactly what first impressions mean. First impressions isn't the first time you see a god or something. It's, it's, your, it's your thoughts about the first time and first experience with playing. I feel like it's more like first experience, like my feelings and thoughts. I don't know what you guys think about that. Do you think first impression should actually be the literal first time? Like you record the first time you do it and you don't even know how to play the game or should you kind of like play the game a few times, overall get an idea of, okay, I like this guy. I think this is a little too strong. I don't necessarily agree with this. I think they should do this. This is kind of my first impressions. What do you think about that? It's an interesting little topic there. Uh, I want to hear some, some of your thoughts in the comment section below, but anyways, on a number three jet stream you see it's a damage over time uh and uh, a very very strong ability it can actually do a lot of damage i'm upgrading it third actually second here after my number one and wow i'm getting hit here jet stream going ahead trying to back off but i am really really low and i'm getting chased by zing chan and it looks like oh my god i'm getting chased by Mal Falk as well oh no he's dashed towards me he's got his ultimate available he uses his ultimate to kill me oh my god what a greedy what a greedy man i hope you get taken out by a slow waffle very soon and it looks like oh slow waffle is doing it doing the do look at that Matt Falk running away but slow waffle gets the kill slow is on a rampage look at you slow look at you slow <laughs> look at you go look at you slow get it oh man now we go we got the knocks i'm pulling her back no you're not gonna root my big boy get that shadow lock out of here i'm gonna hit you with my sword oh you're gonna age us you're gonna sanctuary how about this sanctuary this i know i missed three basic attacks don't laugh at me don't be mad at me this is what happens when you're new to susana oh and new to smite never played smite before okay stop getting mad at me nice old sylvanas there we go we gotta disengage because it's important to get the heck on out of dodge when that jet strip when the uh jingwei is hitting as hard as she has uh is has been hitting uh in this game she's really a threat right now especially to assassin she's gonna be able to really rip through the back line that area basic attack too so easy to land and critting like it's pretty good pretty pretty good for the back line if you can get there um and you time those explosive bolts the right way um so jet stream really good i mean it adds to so much of his mobility because he got the dash on his number one and he's also got the jet stream which is just this amazing damage over time ability so it not only does a ton of damage you could finish people off it's kind of like a line like projectile so it'll stay and do damage in the area kind of create like a, a a storm if anyone gets near it they can walk into it and it'll put them in a bad spot uh and then all of a sudden you can either teleport to the storm or if it hits a player you can teleport to that player and it just gives you so much mobility so much trickiness he's a really fun god an ultimate coming out from susana oh mafalk with a really nice ult onto slow waffle actually but it looks like jingwei is down on the ground big wants to go up does a little bit of a, a rising jaguar over there hits a couple of darts but not enough nice pull from sylvanas i pop into my ultimate the janus portal is there but a great aegis allowing him to get the damage off uh but not successfully onto the target because he gave him some time now i see that susana oh, is chasing after me a nice janus ult trying to disengage purification beads popped by my man a death walker 007 or 700 i can't remember and uh goes ahead and we get out of there alive now like i said we're using blood forge which is the new item that gives 75 power 15 percent physical lifesteal but it gives you a shield I, I believe of about 400 damage at level 20 400 health but it also gives you 20 percent movement speed and i believe 20 percent attack speed uh kind of the same as wind demon i believe i think wind demon gives you 20 percent movement speed and attack speed as well i gotta figure that out what i gotta figure out what exactly blood forge stats are because i was very very uh 
uh, I don't know. I've been looking at both those items. I know one of them gives you something. And I just come over here. You're not trying to steal my speed buff, are you? Susanna, oh, get back here. Okay, so now your blue is available. Me and Susanna are looking to kind of one-on-one -on -one over here as well. And uh, I don't want to, but I do want to. And now my teammates are there. Look at that jet stream. Look at the damage. I'm trying to run around, but uh, looks like it may be not the best choice. Snox comes here. Oh, my God. I get shadow locked and scythe in darkness. And I get rooted by the Scylla. And I get hit with a crush as well. Oh, my God. Overkill? I'm just one man. I'm just one man with a sword. You don't have to kill me that badly. Oh my gosh. I'm 9, 3, and 7. I'm doing okay. I'm not like the worst thing you've ever seen in a smite video game. Huh? Come on, man. I'm not doing that bad. I'm not doing that bad. I'm not doing that good is what I mean to, to get all that focus. Jeez. Okay. All right. All right. It's 178 to 117. Feeling pretty good, though. We got to take care of this minion here. And we do want to talk about the ultimate. So ultimate is Typhoon. Essentially, what that is, is like you see, it's a Typhoon. Uh, 375 damage plus 140% of your physical power. Okay, that's insanely strong. 140% scaling for your physical power for an ultimate. That's like, I don't even know who's, whose ultimate has even close to that. Maybe besides Loki's. I think Loki's has 100 or maybe 120%. 110 maybe. Uh, I think that might be the ho largest scaling on an ultimate for a physical assassin. Someone tell me if that's wrong, but I, it feels like that might be. Nice ultimate there by the Jibalanke. Almost getting the kill. Big using his Rising Jaguar to secure it, but Deathwalker 7,000 gets the kill. I was wrong. It wasn't 07. It wasn't 700. It was 7,000. Jetstream. I'm trying to pull this Susano, and I do get him. The damage is just too much over there. Now, Jing Shan wants a little bit of this booty, but I'm not going to be able to let him have any. In fact, I want to change booties because that booty was a little too hard to hit. Got a little too much armor on that Jing Shan booty, but Jing Wei, she's looking nice and ripe. I've got my Jetstream. She does walk through it, but it does not hit onto her, which would have given me me too much giving me enough damage over time to go ahead and secure the kill a nice pull there trying to use my wind siphon to take him back towards me but a very good jet stream and a really good purification beads stops the aggression there from me and my team no so honest pulls but it looks like there was a three-man gank coming around on the other side of that wall very very glad i did not go there as well because uh they were really planning on that i don't know if they're communicating or they just saw what was happening but yeah very glad that that did not take place now i've got my dash available to get close to the silo i'm going ahead and getting on her look at the crits now i've got 542 movement speed at this point. I know I'm at Wind Demon finish. That would have given me an extra 20% at that point. And I don't have Blood Forge on, so if I would have gotten the kill, I would have gotten an extra 20% as well. The one thing I do know is Blood Forge and Wind Demon. Wind Demon is 20% attack speed and movement speed. Blood Forge gives you 20% movement speed. I just don't know what the other stat is on Blood Forge right now. I kind of am forgetting that stat, however. But uh, it is all okay, all good in the hood. And uh, Deathwalker gets a really nice kill right there. I'm really surprised Deathwalker pulling this over us out in a nice way his pulls have kind of been on point he has not told me that uh you know his pulls were gonna be this rocking but we've had some really nice setups there shout out to all my supports my guardians uh doing it let's go you gotta pull on you're on lock man you're on, not on lock you're on you're on uh, you're on blast you gotta show a hyper pull right now you gotta show people i just talked about you death walker let's go let's see it let's see it sylvanas what you got oh he's pulling in the back line giving me some wisps okay i don't mind that i don't mind that nice little aggression coming out we are 109 to 33, and this is kind of the point where a lot of arena games can turn. You can actually have a scenario where people will uh, win the next team fight, push a ton of minions, and then kind of really be at more like 60 to 33. And if they win the following uh, team fight after that and push some more minions, they will be pretty much tied with you for late game, and it will basically be uh, just whoever has the better late game battle. And wow, I'm getting chugged by that Jing Wei. Oh my God, that was way more damage than I expected yo oh my goodness and i'm going to here i go ahead and try and i try and dare the beast to come out and play but she goes ahead into her ultimate and gets away safely i forced an ultimate for an ultimate it was a nice blink attempt but uh she just was not ready for that now we've got blood forge still there we've got the 20 percent from the wind demon though blood forge is not active i do pop up and now jingwei is back what a freaking ridiculous passive Oh my god, she's already flown behind me, and now she gets the kill. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, passive OP. Passive OP. Jing Wei coming back. Maybe she's back. I don't know. She was really not looking too hot at the start, but look, they've kind of gotten some aggression here. 72 to 19. They do take out Deathwalker as well. I want to get this Jing Wei so badly, but she's going to be able to do it, but no, it's not enough. The instant damage from my number one Storm Kata sealing the deal. I've got my Blood Forge Shield, so I'm at 578 movement speed. Let's see if we can go ahead. Oh, Slow Waffle gets the kill. That's okay. I've still got 622 movement speed as a result of my Wind Demon, so 622 movement speed with this build looks to be max movement speed you'll be able to achieve, which is quite, quite fast, and of course, if you have a little bit more of your ability 
abilities on cooldown. You'll be able to do that. Susano looks like he's in trouble. Wow, nice jet stream blink, but it's okay. I've got it. Oh my god, an ult to the face. Purification beans, but it's not enough. I get knocked up still, and the Nox Siphon Darkness kills me. Ah! No! No! I hate that. You know why I hate that? Because it's my mirror. You know? Then it's just like, I'm better than you at Susano. That's pretty much what he just said with that whole play. Guys? No! <laughs> oh my god, that was so sad. I'm so sad. And I, I, I give up to Larry Boots. I'm like, alright, screw it. We did the dare me. I want to win now. We did it. I screwed to Larry Boots. That's the only reason he won. Because he had, he had Warrior Tab on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now I go ahead and Warriors have to get the extra power. Not that that's going to matter too much right now. It would have really mattered early game, but I already had a great early game, so it really, really affect me. It's just kind of a psychological thing. We do like, get the kill onto Sneakers O'Toole. Sneakers O'Toole. Sneakers O'Toole. You ever heard of my father, Sneakers O'Toole? He was a fantastic man, an Irish man. Drank Guinness every day, every morning. When we'd go out to the, the castles near Galway, me and my father, Sneakers O'Toole, work on our sneakers and our sneaker company and we'd go ahead and we'd drink a pair of Guinness by the ocean side look over the cliffs of Moher and we think about Lassie and Sally O'Malley Sally O'Malley McFlee O'Reilly and her clams by the seashell and boy what wonderful clams they were <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Sneakers up tool. Nice try, man. One and eight and ten. I see you were going for that that big time play to make up for all of that. But not bad. You know, I had the most assists. Uh, it seems like people on the other team knew me. Sneakers up tool knew me as well. Shout out, Sneakers. I hope you're seeing this, man. I, I hope you enjoy the, the joke I just made about your little your little thing. Uh, and and want to give love to everybody there who's supporting. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the Rain Day Gaming community. And hope you guys enjoyed this Dare Me. Now, obviously, I've been doing a lot of Dare Me's with full movement speed. Uh, and I am looking at all of your guys' cool ideas. There's just so much going on. So the Dare Me's are coming. Do not worry. It's not just how to play. So I did a lot of Dare Me's last week. I'm doing more how to plays this week. And usually it will be more alternating uh, with other content here and there. But let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know your dares now here in the comment section below. And let me know your thoughts about this video. Full movement speed, Susana O. Would you rather the uh, traditional movement speed items where we get Masamune? Oh, wow. What was that? I don't know. I, ads, ad coming on. Sorry, guys. Um, or would you rather uh, this kind of version? I thought it was interesting going for the Blood Forge and the Wind Demon since those both give additional movement speeds based on uh, things that you do. I felt that might have been a more interesting movement speed uh, for this one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoy the gameplay, the commentary, and of course hanging with me here at Rain Day Gaming and the positive community that we're building. Positive Gaming Takeover. Remember to hashtag that to support uh, this kind of positive growth that the Smite community and our community here is having right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe and remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Snakers O'Toole.